Um, sorry about the lighting and the crazy hair. Um, crazy hair is just something we will have to deal with together. And a leaky eye. I really need to see somebody about that. Um, decided to go ahead and do a little interesting historical facts. Um, seems, you know, I'm, I'm getting some good feedback on the historical videos that I'm doing. Um, particularly the one on makeup. And I might delve into it a little deeper. Um, not such a broad spectrum, but more detailed. Um, but right now, I really don't have a whole lot of free time. Um, I mean, I, I do, but um, I just haven't really been feeling right. I had a, a bit of a scare the other day because um, I, I couldn't breathe. Every time I would try to breathe, it was like I was choking, you know, being suffocated. Um, but testing, you know, the heart and the lungs, it was all good. So gave me some meds to take and we'll see. Um, I'll probably talk more to the ENT when I go to that appointment. But anyway. And I apologize if my glasses are going to cast a glare. But I'm at that age. I need to see. It's just that simple. <laughs> you know, life sucks when you get old. Okay. Um, these are all just like random little facts. There's not anything that really correlates and goes together. These are just strange facts. Um, first thing I have on my list was Lincoln was a champion wrestler. And I thought, hmm, I knew that he did, uh, he was like captain of barge boats along the Ohio River. And, you know, and he was a lawyer and, you know, he had his hand in so many different things. I had no clue he was a champion wrestler. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, this was interesting. It had to suck being an ancient Roman slave, uh, Egyptian slave. Because in ancient Egypt, serpents were smeared with honey to attract flies away from the pharaoh. Good to be the king. In the Victorian era, it was popular to photograph relatives after they had died often placing them in lifelike poses. Glad that trend went away. Um, I have to check that still. I meant to. Because um, the, the one side I was on said that Hitler, Mussolini, and Stalin were all nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Whereas that's crazy enough to be true, I want to research that one a little bit before I say it's a fact. Um, Sutomo Yamaguchi was in Hiroshima when the first atom bomb was dropped. Then he traveled home to Nagasaki the day before the second atom bomb was dropped. He survived both and lived to be the age of ni ni 93. 
I, I wouldn't want to be around him because the luck of being around one atom bomb dropping and surviving and then having two while Pope Gregory the ninth was in power he declared that cats were associated with the devil with devil worship and had them exterminated across Europe it's believed that the disappearance of cats helped rats proliferate and spread the bubonic plague it's very likely Jeanette Rankin became the first female member of Congress in America in 1916. All women really should know, okay, that the, the women's suffrage where we gain the right to, to vote, okay? Didn't happen until, like, like every time. Hang on. Shh. Go lay down, be good, baby. Um, one of my babies is not feeling well, and the girls tend to not handle it well. I don't know what Marley ate that upset his stomach so much, but oh, cleaning it up. I don't even want to think about it. Anyway, women's suffrage happened in 1920. Okay? So for Jeanette Rankin to be elected into Congress in 1916, when we didn't even have the right to vote was amazing. So, um, in 1942, the U.S. Army fired 1,400 anti-aircraft rounds during what was thought to be a Japanese air raid over L.A. County. Turned out to be a false alarm obviously, but five civilians died as an indirect result. But during that time, people were, were very much on edge because we had an air raid happen by the Japanese at the end of 4-1 in a place that we thought for sure was safe. Pearl Harbor is a shallow harbor. It was kind of closed off, so there was only one way in and out. That's why we parked all our ships in there. Which, thankfully, we had some ships out of there during that time, so they weren't all destroyed like... That's another subject with the Arizona. very very sad subject so um at the height of his popularity Charlie Chaplin entered a Charlie Chaplin look-alike contest in San Francisco he came in tw 20th place you know I, how do you not win your own look-alike contest history's shortest war was between England and Zanzibar. It lasted only thir 38 minutes. Um, I had mentioned this in the Titanic one about the book, 14 years, that kind of mirrored what happened with the Titanic. Um, before the 19th century, dentures were commonly made with the teeth pulled from the mouths of dead soldiers. 
that's just kind of, uh, you know, glad my teeth are good. Hey, it's enough. In um, 1998, 1,200 bones from some 10 human bodies were found in the basement under Ben Franklin's house. The bodies were used to study in the study of human anatomy, scholars believe. Uh, during that time, to kind of expand on that a little bit, during that time, it was illegal to do an autopsy. We had no clue really what was going on inside. Thankfully, to some that were curious and kind of foresaw where medical needed to go, conducted autopsies in private so that they could really understand the human anatomy. But it was basically considered a desecration of a dead body. So that's why it was illegal. Um, don't know if Ben Franklin or friend, because Ben Franklin spent a lot of time in France. He really wasn't in America a whole lot because the French loved him and he didn't have to worry about his hygiene. Um, seven of the ten deadliest wars in human history have been in China. Seven out of ten. The Taiping, Taiping Rebellion alone had twice as many deaths as World War I. And we had quite a few deaths during that war. Um, a lot of it due to the, the Spanish flu. Between 1900 and 1920, tug-of-war was an Olympic event. Um, I tend to get a little irritated when they add in events to the Olympics and take them out. I, I know that the Olympics today are nothing like what they used to be because what they used to be was it was only men, only men could attend because it was all done naked. No women. Hang on to that thought. What did I say? Be good babies. Okay. During the Middle Ages, it was believed that Marley, cool it. Let me see if I can find a good way of, of saying this in case there's any young ones around. And if anybody's watching with someone young, plug their ears for a moment. Um, during the Middle Ages, it was believed that the male material to make a baby, that's a good way to do it, um, was, uh, from the, the left produce girls. So to ensure having a son, men would have that one removed. Wonder how long until they figured out that girls come from either side. Um, 
Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died hours apart on the same day, July 4th, 1826. It was the 50th anniversary of the independence. And I think that was kind of fitting for two of our, our founding fathers to die at, on that day, even though technically that wasn't the day that the, the declaration was signed. Um, it's just the date that they chose. Um, it was debated between like the 4th, the 6th, and another date. Um, it was actually signed in September because they spent the whole summer writing it, tweaking it, and this and that. Um, not sure exactly. I'd have to look it up because it's been so long as to why they rolled the date back. But the day that we celebrate it is not the actual date that they signed. It's the date they chose for it. So, um, the tallest married couple ever recorded was Anna H Haining Swan. She was seven foot eleven inches, almost eight foot tall. And Martin Van Buren Bates, he was seven foot nine inch tall, so he was a little shorter than her. And Swan also gave birth to a 22-pound baby. Let that one sink in for a second. My son was eight pounds, two ounces. And almost two feet long. Very close, just a couple inches off. I thought that was going to kill me. that big of a baby Woo. God bless her in 1945 a balloon bomb launched by Japan landed in Oregon it happened upon uh, by a woman and five children who died when it exploded these were the only World War II casualties on U.S. soil. And sadly, it was at a time when the war was wrapping up. And the name Nazi was taken from pre-existing slang for backward peasant. The term was popularized by Hitler's opponents and was rarely used by Nazis themselves. This realized I skipped a word here. The Civil War began on the farm of Wilm Are you done? began on the the farm of Wil, Vil, Wilmer McLean, who then moved more than a hundred miles away to escape fighting, only to have the war end inside his new house at Appomattox. I thought that was really neat. Alright, that one's going to take a little longer. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. We had a long talk. Um, people were buried alive so often in the 19th century that a safety coffin was invented so that the dead would have the ability to alert those above ground if they were still alive. A lot of times this was like a bell with the string inside the coffin 
and you often had someone sitting by the grave to see if you ring the bell. Um, Napoleon was once attacked by rabbits. Karl Marx was once a correspondent for the New York Daily Tribune. And Ronald Reagan was a lifeguard during high school and saved 77 people's lives. In 1912, a Paris orphanage held a raffle to raise money. The prizes were live babies. And I'm, I'm certain that a lot of you are unaware unless you're you're really big into history but the D in D-Day stands for day so technically it was day day um, I don't remember the reason for that was behind that I think they were were trying to come up with something and ended up not so they just left it as D-Day um This was interesting, too, because this I didn't know. The Constitution of the Confederate States of America banned the slave trade. Um, no, that would just mean, you know, the, the, the Africans being brought in on ships, being bought and sold by cattle. The slaves that you had that you encouraged them to have children. That was another story. Um, when the Civil War started, Robert E. Lee owned no slaves. Grant, however, did. Yet, we look at because of, of the atrocity of slaves we look at Grant who led the Union as this wonderful benevolent general who later became president truth was he was an alcoholic and from what I understand a bit of an ass um, and, and Lee was vilified when he didn't own slaves, he wanted to stay with the Union, but due to family pressure, like many of the, the boys, of course he wasn't a boy himself, but they were, were brought back home to fight for their state, you know, because at that time, you had a lot of state loyalty that we really don't have today you know I mean you know there there's certain loyalties depending on where you go go to the East Coast okay particularly around Jersey Delaware Philly okay it's all about the Eagles um, go to Michigan and it's the the uh, Michigan University Wolverines against the Ohio Buckeyes. There's a big rivalry there. Um, which for me is kind of a toss-up because I was born in Ohio, raised in Detroit, and then later spent some years in Ohio too, so it gets fun because I root for both. Um, and King George the, the first was actually German I'm trying to think right now what their name was because they've taken the name of Windsor but that was so not their name 
Um, I really can't remember. I know it. Um, but they, you know, they looked at taking the name Stuart or Tudor, which were previous royal family names. And Windsor wasn't even a name. It was a thing. And uh, that's what they ended up going with. And actually, Prince Philip, his sister was married to a, a Nazi. And that created a lot of problems because of that. But that kind of got tucked under. Um, at the start of World War I, the U.S. Air Force, which was really a, a component of the U.S. Army, the Army Air Corps, had only 18 pilots, which was really no real match for the, the Luftwaffe. Not only did they have plenty of pilots, they had the, the airplanes, they had the skills. Um, you know, the Red Baron went down in history as being one of the greatest fighter pilots ever. Um, ancient Egyptians used slabs of stones as pillows. Uh, Ice Age Britons used skulls of the dead as cups. And I'm not sure how they figured that out, but. Um, and upon dying, some pharaohs were sealed in their tombs alongside their living servants, pets, and concubines. Good to be the king. In 1788, the Austrian army attacked itself and lost 10,000 men. In the 19th century, a popular medicine for kids, Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup included morphine. I've often threatened to... Sorry, my... Lippy is getting old. Um, in early Rome, a father could legally kill anyone in his family. Prior to the 1960s, tobacco companies ran physician-endorsed ads that suggested smoking had health benefits. Um, I know my mom had talked about going to doctor's appointments and being able to smoke and so forth. And I used to, when she was pregnant with me, I used to kick the ashtray off her tummy. Try and tell her something, I suppose. Um, before alarm clocks, there were knockups who were hired to shoot dried peas from a blowgun at people's windows. The term hooker for a prostitute originated with Civil War General Joseph Hooker, who brought prostitutes along on campaigns for his men. And during the Great Depression, People often made clothes out of potato sacks. Distributors started making their sex more colorful to help people remain at least somewhat fashionable. And Nintendo has been around since 1889. They began as a playing card company. You can still get the playing cards on Amazon. Thought that was all pretty nifty. That's what I have so far. Now, if any of you made it this far, you can do a little pop-up. So, as a reward for those that are actually watching the videos, 
Um, if you made it this far, leave me a winky face emoji. If you don't have the winky face emoji, just write winky face. What I have for you, I got this right, is a trust fund. Let's see if I can get that to focus. It's not wanting to focus. Why? Oh well, trust me, it is a trust fund baby, it's a real good size tube, it's a highlighter, I don't do liquid highlighters, so let me the emoji, I'll draw a name from those that that leave it and then I'll get your address and this could be yours so thank you my beauties don't forget my other giveaway it ends Saturday and that goodbye my beauties